Jack, your dad and I were still sort of trying to get to know each other when you were born. Ah, oh, so it's okay to marry a stranger, but not to talk to one? <laughs> when is this story gonna be about me? It's all about you. And how come I'm not in it? You were in it. You were right in here. And you were not ready to come out yet. Do you know how much that false labor cost us? 175 bucks. I'm telling you, Trina, that's the business we ought to get into. Hospital running. <laughs> Probably got to know somebody. A poop. What? A poop. Every day, sometimes twice. <laughs> Been, uh, I've been going over to Charlie's. Well, that's a relief. I gotta tell you, I was wondering whether or not that was really a baby you had in there. <laughs> Why would you hide something like that? I didn't want to ruin your impression of me. I mean, that's crazy. I love everything about you. Hey, where's my new grandson? Except him. <laughs> so what happened? Where's my little Carl? It's a false alarm, Daddy. The doctor says the baby's not ready to come out yet. And it's not gonna be named Carl. Well, I suppose you got something better. Yeah, not Carl. <laughs> Daddy, thank you so much for the crib. <laughs> You're welcome. I just thought my little grandson deserved something better than a dresser drawer to sleep in. <clears throat> well, that's where the joke's on you, Carl, because we don't have a dresser. <laughs> you know something, Trina? You'd have a whole lot more nice things if you'd just let Walter, the parts vendor, have another chance. You know, even with a bun in the oven and the, the way you're spreading out back there, <laughs> he still asks about you. She's not dating the parts vendor. She's married to me and we're having a baby and I can take care of him just fine. You can't even afford a crib, jackass. That ain't fine in my book. You know, kids need stuff. What, are you gonna tell jokes for shoes? Look, Carl, I'm this close to making it big, Carl. Everyone says you can feel it. Y'all just call me when little Carl pops out, okay? okay? He's not gonna be named Carl! He's not gonna be named Carl. How long have you been drinking out of the carton? This carton? Three days. I've never noticed you do that before. That's nothing. You don't see me open up a pickle jar with my armpit? Mommy, do you ever worry that maybe we don't know each other well enough to be having a baby? Would you stop letting your dad get inside your head? Everything's gonna be fine. In fact, the sooner we get the baby out, the better. We just gotta figure out a way to speed this thing along. Well, the um, the doctor said I could exercise or, um, or we could have sex. Well, you, uh, Trina, we can't afford another pregnancy right now. <laughs> we'll just, let's just get some exercise. Oh my God, you're not attracted to me. No, 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 listen. It's just that I'm not looking at you like that right now because you're you're gonna be a mama and I just feel like I need to protect you. I'm always gonna be a mama. You're never gonna wanna have sex with me again. Yeah, listen to me. Listen to me. How about Donnie? What? Yeah, for the baby. I like Donnie. <sighs> not short for Donald, just Donnie. <sighs> well, I... Oh my god, you ain't Donnie! You ain't a baby! <laughs> I love all your names and all your personalities. <laughs> What is that supposed to mean? Nothing. Okay. This is gonna be great. Wait a minute, Mommy, this is a private golf course. We can't just sneak in. Yeah, we can. Me and Barry do it all the time. Uh, it's gonna be great. All right, listen. What? Here. Uh, all right, we gotta work together here. You ready? Ryan. On three. Okay. One, two, three. Oh! oh. <laughs> All right. Oh. All right, this ain't working. No. All right. I'm gonna have to get under this load. Please call me Trina. Oh. I'm impressed, honey. I didn't think you were gonna make it over that creek. Rodney? Trina? Hey, Bear. Hey, Bear. <laughs> what are you guys doing here? We're just gonna try to jiggle that baby loose. I suggested that we have sex. Well, do you mind if I finish hitting that bucket of balls first? No, we're just gonna get some exercise. Here, honey. Come over here. Whack away. Rodney, I don't golf. You don't? Have you ever heard me talk about golf? Well, no, but I never heard you talk about fishing either, and you do that. No, I don't. You don't? No. 
I'm gonna go for a walk. Okay, well, had a girl. Walk till it drops. <laughs> you want me to go with you? No, that's okay. Okay. Here, take these. Get some balls while you're out there. Stay on that side, because we're gonna hit over here. Just stay to the left, okay? <laughs> Well, that is one special lady you got there. Don't I know it, Barry. I love her to death, but I'm gonna tell you something. She's been acting awful damn crazy. And I'm not talking about cute crazy. I'm talking about hide the knives crazy. <laughs> Buddy, that's just the hormones talking. I mean, what's she like when she's on, you know, that time of the month? I don't know. I've never seen her that time of the month. She got pregnant too fast. You really are flying blind, aren't you? <laughs> I didn't know what that means, honey. Go! <laughs> that was Barry! I think you kind of came over the top of that one. Yeah, too much right hand. <laughs> How much do kids' shoes cost? Well, 10 or 12 bucks, I guess. Why are you asking? Oh, I'm starting to worry. It's not about just shoes. I mean, it's about toys and clothes. Hell, I got a doctor's bill and the baby's not even here yet. Oh, buddy, it's going to be fine. How do you know that, man? I've been putting up a good front to train her, but the truth is, I don't know if I can do this. Oh, man, I felt the same way. But of course, now, I had my own business, and Jeannie had her inheritance. You're not really helping, Bear. Oh, and my dad helped us buy a house. Are you through, or do you have a lottery story you'd like to tell me about? Freeze! Sheriff's Department! Well, 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 what have we here? Looks like I caught myself a couple of breakers and enterers. Well, Jerry, Bob, look at you. You made it through the academy. Yep, it's my first day on the force. I can see that by the creases in your brand new shirt. Looks like little boobies right there and right there. <laughs> I wouldn't do that, because when you mock me, you mock the covenant that binds us as a society. The law. <laughs> Evening, trainer. You're looking radiant. Like a berry filled up with purdy juice. Okay. Honey, it's time. You sure? Because the last time you... It's time! You know, Trina, the way you stepped out of the woods just now, the moonbeams dancing around you... Sure, Bob, quit that... flirting. We're having a baby. Buddy, we better get her to the hospital. Yeah. Oh, not so fast. You're still arrested. She can go to the hospital, but you two are coming down to the station with me. Out of my way, we're going to the hospital. Oh, no, you are not. Cheryl, Bob, would you... <laughs> hey! Cheryl, Bob! Come on, boys, break it up. Come on, now. Cheryl, Bob, quit pinching. Excuse me, guys. Do not resist. Do not resist. You're even more arrested now. I don't think I'm gonna make it to the hospital. Uh. Okay, you're okay. You okay? I'm okay. Okay. Honey? Don't ask me if I'm okay. Okay. Is she okay? She's okay. 